What's up guys, welcome to your office garage. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for more Celica content. Uh, today I am giving a giveaway away, so please stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'll give you instructions and what I am giving away. So back to the video. Um, today I am gonna install a part that's been sitting in my garage for a while. Uh, reason I haven't installed it, one, because I didn't have the hardware two because i misplaced it somewhere later on and three i lost motivation to work on a celica but that ends today so the part that i'm installing today is a beat rush under panel excuse the mess so this is the hardware and this was actually a gift from one of my boys um esvin lima and if you go back way back to my videos he was the one that helped me out uh, with the engine doing some silly things on the camera. So shout out to him. I'll leave his link, um, his Instagram in the description. That way you could know who he is. He does have a turbo Celica 1ZZ. Um, it's up and running, but needs a tune. So if you wanna check out more of, of his build, um, I'll leave the link in the description. This was used, so I am gonna give it a little cleanup. Uh, before I install it and open up this and see how to install this so this beat rush it's supposed to give you better aerodynamic and it replaces your plastics and basically gives it a little bit more protection it is aluminum and it's very light I'm gonna put it on So there she is, all cleaned up, both sides. Cleaned it as much as I could. Just used the greaser and a rag and water, that's all. So time to lift up the car and then get this installed. I'm not gonna take off the cover cause I'm gonna be working under there. So I'm just gonna lift it up like that uh, since I'm just working in the bottom. So let's get to it. So I figured out how to do this. Um, uh, there's only one thing I'm just iffy about, or I don't know how it goes and I'll find out once I put it on. So this bracket goes right here. So this bracket is gonna go right here. Um, this one's already installed, you see it. So that one's already on there right now. So these guys are right here trying to help out or be nosy. But so this bracket right here goes in here and then goes all the way until it comes up to here. And then from there, you are able to put this bracket. And this is what I don't know if it goes like this or it goes like this because it has an angle but i'm thinking it goes like this or maybe like this i still don't know so i don't know which way it goes but it does goes right here the other bracket the last one which is this one right here um that one goes into your control arm so that one goes right there and that one's a size 19 i believe and let me see if i could demonstrate how it goes so basically 
this one's gonna go in here and just slide in there and go like that um and then from there that's why you have the nut and the screw that's gonna go in here so this is gonna have a screw and a nut for this and the other ones already have a nut on them all of them have it um so yeah and then the one that goes right here that's the big one so the big ones go in here figured since there's a big old screw and you have movement to adjust another thing is that i do have to remove the bumper so i am gonna take half of the cover off so i could take off the bumper and get this installed because i'm not able to slide it in the tow hook right here so that's what i'm gonna do right now take off the bumper install these brackets and install this b-rush so let's get started The brackets go with the angle going like this. So it goes like that. Um, and you see, you can see it from the side. That's how they go. Um, so the angle has to be like this, not the other way around. And then the brackets go right there. And you're gonna have to put the nut in the back. Um, the reason they didn't put it is that way you could adjust it. <laughs> So you could adjust it up and down Same thing here um, You could adjust it a little bit more Same goes right here So I left them loose right here And it also has a hole right here So once you're done You could able to tighten that That bolt right here So that's pretty cool So this is what happens when you buy Um good quality parts so i'm gonna install this bad boy on so let's get to it So there it is, the under panel is already installed. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty, pretty strong. So reason being I had to remove the bumper is cause these go inside the bumper. And then as you can see, this has to slide in the tow hook. So there is no possible way I was gonna do it with the bumper on. So you do have to remove the front bumper uh there's no questions about it lucky for me it's very fairly easy because um i only got two screws and the quick release is here in the sides and that's it it comes off so let's put the bumper on put everything back together drop it and call it a day
so there it is bumpers are you on and the under panel beat rush is already on now i gotta go for a test drive and see if it's actually gonna scrape previous owner already scraped it there and a little bit on the fins um if it does scrape a lot then i might have to raise my car a little bit that way i don't damage it but that will be it guys so don't think i forgot about the giveaway i am gonna give away a shirt uh this is the front it just has rafa's garage right here in the back it has my logo i'm also gonna give away a flat with the magnetic tip in the back socal celica decal and your choice of either a red or blue snap-on hat just let me know what size of t-shirt and hat you want all you gotta do is comment below and see what would you like to see in this channel i will announce the winner in a week from now so Go ahead, share this video, let everybody know, comment below, and you could be the winner. Thanks for watching. I'm out.